Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shouk Mohammed. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, President Abdelaziz Bouteflika, on his country's Independence Day, wishing him lasting good health and well being. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa also sent a cable of congratulations and good wishes to the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, President Abdelaziz Bouteflika, on his country's Independence Day, wishing the brotherly Algerian people further progress and prosperity. The Prime Minister sends a similar congratulatory cable to Algeria's Prime Minister, Abdullah Majid Tabboun. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, reviewed today and received today at Qudaybiyah Palace the Chairman of the Bahrain Basketball Association, Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, in the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, who presented to His Royal Highness the members of the association, the chairman, members of boards of directors, and players of Mahara Club, which won the Khalifa bin Salman Basketball Cup 2017, and the Manama Club, which won the 2017 Basketball League. His Royal Highness affirmed that the achievements of the national sports clubs elevated the status of the kingdom, regionally and internationally, noting that the sport had reflected the solidarity of the Bahraini community. He stated that the youth on whom the sports movement development depends hold a high status in the kingdom and their efforts are appreciated, stressing the continuity of the sports development march and the ceaselessness of supporting the youth. His Royal Highness congratulated the members of the boards of directors and players of the Muharraq and Manama clubs on the outstanding achievement they made, which reflects the players' determination and the technical preparation of their boards of directors, wishing them further success in upcoming regional and international competitions. The Prime Minister hailed the efforts of the association chairman in developing interest in the basketball sports in the kingdom and upgrading its technical level. He expressed pride in the honorable presence of the Bahraini basketball in the local and international competitions, highlighting the positive role the sport might play in achieving harmony among people. His Royal Highness urged the benefit from the role of the sport in directing youth energies to beneficial activities to enhance their participation in serving the development of March in the Kingdom. He added that the Kingdom's achievements in many sports activities in the last period reflect the interest sports in the Kingdom receive on all levels, expressing hope in making more sports achievements in the near future. Sheikh Isa expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's unlimited support for sports and athletes, affirming that His Royal Highness's directives represent a platform for action in the coming period to maintain the high levels recently. The members of the association and the Muharraq and Manama clubs expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support to the sector of youth and sports, commending Sheikh Isa's efforts in developing Bahraini basketball.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa sends a cable of congratulations and good wishes to the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria President Abdelaziz Bouteflika on his country's Independence Day, wishing them brotherly Algerian people more progress and prosperity. Commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa patronized this morning at Sakhir Camp the ceremony for the distribution of the second batch of beneficiary certificates for the Bera Door Housing Project to the affiliates of the National Guard. Present were the National Guard's Director of Staff, Major General Sheikh Khalid Abdelaziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, and Housing Ministry's Assistant Under Secretary for Housing Policies and Services, Dr. Khalid Al Haydan. The National Guard commander noted that the Royal Directives to allocate housing units to officers, non-commissioned officers and individuals from the National Guard affirms His Majesty's King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's support to the soldiers in honor of their services and dedication to their country. He, he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his support and to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa for their keenness to secure all the necessities of a decent life and adequate housing for citizens. His Highness congratulated the recipients of the beneficiary certificates, affirming their vital role in preserving national gains and achievements. The Commander of the National Guard awarded the certificates to the beneficiaries. For his part, Al Haydan affirmed that the wise directives of His Majesty the King and the leadership, the follow-up of the National Guard Commander and the support of the National Guard's Director of Staff have resulted in the Barat Door Housing Project. He underscored the follow-up of the Housing Ministry of the Housing File comes with the government's quest to provide adequate housing and decent living for the citizens. The ceremony follows His Highness's patronization of the first distribution ceremony early January in the presence of the Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yagoub al Hamar, and a number of officials of the ministry. The beneficiaries expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, the wise leadership, and the commander of the National Guard for their constant support. Commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at his office in the National Guard headquarters, Senior British Defence Advisor for the Middle East, Lieutenant General Thomas Beckett and his accompanying delegation. His Highness welcomed Lieutenant General Beckett and his accompanying delegation, praising the strategic Bahraini-British relations, which were built on a historic foundation that bonds the two kingdoms and enriches bilateral cooperation in all fields, particularly in the military field. He hailed the developments and progress on relations between the Bahrain and the United Kingdom at all levels. The two parties discussed issues of mutual concern, particularly those relating to enhancing military cooperation with the UK. For his part, Senior British Defence Advisor for the Middle East, Lieutenant General Beckett commended the deep-rooted Bahraini-British relations, affirming his country's keenness on intensifying efforts to develop those relations at all levels.
As part of the strong historical and strategic Bahrain-U.S. ties, the police ban took part in the U.S. Independence Day celebrations on July 4th. The ban gave a high-class performance reflecting Bahrain's heritage and diversity-rich legacy. Those attending the event, including military music experts and performers, appreciated the band's performance, while the officials and media representatives also praised the high skill and fine music performed by the band. Band Commander Major General Dr. Mbarak Najim said the band was honored to represent Bahrain at the international event as part of its dedication to ensure a high and distinguished musical performance. He said the band's participation in the U.S. Independence Day celebrations was a success thanks to the constant support of the Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. He also said the band had dedicated enough time to rehearsals and to get ready for the participation and that this was reflected in the performance and the skill of the members of the band, which was, has a legacy of around a century.